identifying pick and pin objects. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Let's see what we will learn in this video. Identifying thick and thin objects and identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. This evening there is no electricity in Chotu's and Pinky's house. Mother has asked Chotu and Pinky to bring a thick candle from the market. Chotu and Pinky went to a shop to buy candles. Auntie, please give a thick candle. Take this, children. Choose out of this. Chotu, can you tell me which of these is a thicker candle? Children, can you tell me which of these candles is thick and which one is thin? Well done, children. Amongst these two candles, this one is thicker and this candle is the thinner one. Pinky, this candle is thick and this candle is thin. Okay. Chotu, will this thick candle burn all night? Pinky, let's take a candle thicker than this. Right, Chotu. Let's take a candle thicker than this. Auntie, please give us the thickest candle. Here you go, children. This is the thickest candle. Pinky, this candle is the thickest. Let us take this. Okay, Chotu. Children, Pinky and Chotu took the thickest candle. Can you tell me which of the three candles is the thinnest one? Yes, this is the thinnest candle. Was your answer the same, children? So, children, today Chotu and Pinky identified the thickest and thinnest candle. The next day when the electricity went off, Chotu and Pinky went to play in the park. They were playing hide and seek. First, it was Choto's turn to hide. Choto decided to hide behind a tree. Choto saw two trees in the front. So children, can you tell me behind which tree Choto should hide? This tree is thin, so Choto cannot hide behind this. Chotu goes and hides behind another tree. Do you know why Chotu is not seen now? You are right children. This tree is thick. So he can easily hide behind it. That's why Chotu chose to hide behind this thick tree. So children did you see? Chotu could not hide behind the thin tree. But could easily hide behind a thick tree. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned identifying thick and thin objects and identifying thickest and thinnest objects. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. Till then, bye children. Examples of identifying thick and thin objects Hello children, in the previous video we saw identifying thick and thin objects and identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. Choto and Pinky want to have a swing on the tree behind their house. Pinky, what all do we need to make a swing on the tree? A piece of wood and a rope. That's it. A piece of wood is right here. Yes, sure 
Chotu, let's get the rope from Mummy. Pinky and Chotu went to get the rope from Mummy. Mummy, we need a rope to make a swing. Okay, Chotu, there are two ropes inside. Go and get them. Okay, Mummy. Chotu brings both the ropes from inside. Here are the ropes. Come on, let us take a rope for the swing. This rope is very beautiful. Yes, let's take this one. Children, this rope is thin. If you make a swing with it, the swing will break as soon as you sit on it. Really, Mummy? What should we do now? Children, you should make a swing with this thick rope. It won't break when you sit. Children, do you think this rope is thicker than the previous rope? Pinky, we will make swing with the rope because this rope is thicker than this rope. Well done, children. You were right. Come on. Let me help you to hang this swing. After hanging the swing, Chotu and Pinky swung a lot and had fun. So children, you saw Chotu and Pinky chose the thick rope instead of the thin rope to hang a swing. So children, can you identify thick and thin pencil from these two pencils? Yes, this is thick pencil. And this is thin pencil. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. Till then, bye children. Identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. So children, in the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. Today, Choto is doing his drawing homework. Choto has taken colors, a large piece of paper and few brushes to paint. Choto, what are you painting? Pinky, I have thought of making a plant in an open field today. Choto picks up a brush and starts making green field. But Choto's brush is making a very thin line and Choto is taking a lot of time to cover the green field. Oh Choto, your brush is very thin. It will take a lot of time to color the field with such a thin brush. So what should I do Pinky? Choto, if you take the thickest brush, then you will be able to paint the entire field very quickly. Okay, alright Pinky. But which of these is the thickest brush? So children, can you identify the thickest brush amongst these three brushes? You are absolutely right children. This brush is the thickest of these three brushes. Yes, this brush is the thickest. Let me use this to color the field. Oh wow Pinky! I was able to color the field quickly using the thickest brush. Yes, but this thick brush cannot be used to make the plant. Yes, you are right Chotu. So you can take the thinnest brush to make the plant. Yes, it will be easy to color the plant with a thin brush. But which is the thinnest brush Pinky? Children, can you tell me which of these three brushes is the thinnest brush? You are absolutely right children. This is the thinnest brush. Here it is Chotu. 
thinnest brush. Choto finishes his painting quickly. So children, did you see that Choto used the thickest brush to paint the green field? And the thinnest brush to paint the plant. So children, can you tell me that which of these three books is the thickest book of all? This is the thickest book and this is the thinnest book. That's all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye children.